cake right now. Let's go bake a cake. I mean, it's not enough that my tita just opened a bakery. I'm gonna make my own. So, we're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna try baking Pinterest minimalist cakes because that looks easy. That looks easy. It's easier than those fancy looking cakes. So, we're gonna try that. That was so bad. It's time to go down. This is Piper. She's a dog. This is her daughter. I don't know who the dad is. Okay, explanation time. So, the recipes on Pinterest are just how they look. But I went to like my Lola's favorite baking stuff. I'm just gonna copy one here. Reference, reference. Author by Super Cookery from the UK. Okay, there's Zen Gutierrez. That's my Lola. That's my Lola over there. We're gonna make marble cakes, but we're gonna have some marshmallow fluff for like icing so it's easy to just color it even though I don't have food coloring. So it says we need butter, caster, sugar. Be beaten, <laughs> beaten, beaten, three eggs, and self freezing flour, and some of those. That is what we need. Okay, I'm so think this is gonna be like an exercise. This is our floor, floor, our floor. So yeah, I'm just stalling since I'm softening my butter. Ooh, okay, so I'm trying to measure it, but like labels are being wiped away already. Skills. <laughs> Part of the skills of being a baker is not making sure if it's like the cake is good itself, but the skill of how you get the ingredients. It takes a master to not spill stuff. See that? You see that? Oh, I didn't need extra tools. I used my wits. This says 277 grams, and it said it needed 150 grams, so I'm gonna use my estimation skills and kind of go like half plus like. Huh. I have a feeling this is one cup, so I'm gonna kind of go like three fourths there. Estimation skills that I learned from Kinder. I'm using them now. Yeah, it's still cold. It's still cold. So these Pinterest minimalist cakes. Like I first saw a photo of it like on June, and then I kept seeing photos of it until my whole Pinterest feed was like about cakes. I would like the like the you you know, like the <laughs> like before I sleep, I would take like 30 minutes just scrolling through Pinterest minimalist cakes. I'm like. How does this look so pretty? This is the best thing I can do right now, bake. Aside from school, it's, but I'm like, I want to eat. I want to, I can't eat paint. So I'm here cutting butter instead of eating paint. So I'm widening the surface area so this would melt easier. Science. I'm using my hand and the knife, so I'm gonna put it down. Okay, that's bad. Okay. Bloppy dee, bloppy dee, blop, blop, blop. Increasing sense area. See, it's already softer now. I'm so smart, guys. Smart, guys. And then there you go. I told you this baking video is fun. Look, I have chicken nuggets. I feel like if I use the mixer, it's gonna go everywhere, so I'm, I'm using this brush. So I'm folding the bow, the bow, <laughs> the something dough. Is it called dough? It's cake. The batter. My tita taught me a while ago. I'm gonna do marble cake, but like in the normal cake, not in the round thingy. And because I like, I love marble cake, especially marble cake from S and R. If you don't know S and R, oh my god, that was the reason that that made me gain so much weight last year. I mean, <laughs> not a lie, nor an exaggeration. 
but I could finish a cake, the entire round thing. So, that's why I gained weight. But, there's more to that. My hormones kind of slowed down, so my entire metabolism slowed down. But I still ate um, a whole cake, and I didn't eat only one cake. So, that was the reason why. And look, our batter is pretty smooth. Even though I just folded it. Oh, I'm such a baker. I'm such a, I'm such a baker. Baker. Okay, time for some chicken nuggets break. Mm -hmm. Next, I'm gonna half this and put the other half in another bowl. Or one fourth. That is not half nor one fourth, I just guessed. So, let's let on its logo, my tita's bakery thing, and we're gonna get some. Okay, we're folding again, doing some origami. So, another part of our set. Here, aside from chicken nuggets, are these cheesecake crusts. Because my cousin does not like cheesecake crust, and I love the crust. He likes the cheesecake, and I like the crust, so it's a, it's left out for me here. Why do you gotta be so good? Yes, I'm such a good folder. Cheesecake crust. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so I'm done making the chocolate batter. And I can't carry this one. Making the, oh, my hair, making that batter. So I'm gonna put them all in one cake pan. And it's so cute and it's so tiny because my tita makes tiny cakes. Look like at how tiny that is. Look how tiny. Okay. Oh, wait, I forgot to put butter. I forgot to butter the thing. Haven't seen you around in a while. With chocolate, so <laughs> that's that's not good estimation. It filled up two cakes. Like yeah, my first time doing this alone. Okay. Ah! okay, so they are in the oven right now, getting pretty tan. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna wait up. Oh. First, watch a episode of How I Met Your Mother because like, or here's an option. I can study for my practice quiz today. I think you know what I'm gonna choose. The right choices in life. Kiana Louise. They're cooling and while they're cooling, I'm gonna make the frosting. Apparently, I don't have marshmallow fluff. I have marshmallow fondant. We're gonna use a different recipe instead and make some buttercream ice cream. Oh, cream. Put it here. The recipe specifically says not to use unsalted butter. But then it says to add salt afterwards to add taste. So, to even it out, I'm gonna use one fourth of unsalted butter and one fourth of salted butter. Am I like, am I like a genius or something? So yeah, this is buttercream vanilla frosting. So I made a mistake. <laughs> Like I wasn't supposed to add the, the powdered sugar first. I was supposed to like beat it first until it was creamy. So that's a big hoop. I'll just kind of like scoop it out. I'm scared to use this, but you see what happened a while ago? I like turned it on and it just like... So be careful guys. Baking is a rough sport. Okay, I'm holding it now and plugging it in. Okay, nothing happened. Put that all together. So very conveniently, it's the first recipe I found that doesn't use measurements to tell you what ingredients you need. Okay, for example, it says vanilla extract. This will add some flavor. Like, okay, but how much vanilla extract do I need? So like, there you go. That's skills, bro. It's pretty like chunky right now. The consistency is better. I added some water I have like water here and I just add a couple every time oh the consistency looks pretty it looks frosty if you guys can tell I don't know but look at the mess I made look at the mess I made look at the mess I made it looks frosty already okay so this is our frosting and these are our two cakes kind of 
crunchy but very spongy. Look, it's bouncy too. Is that a cake property? We have this cake turn table that's built around. Like, there's no food coloring in the groceries at all. Like, it's gone. So, it's just a white cake for now, I guess. calls it a cookie cake. A cookie cake? <laughs> a cookie. A cookie cake. <laughs> for looking at cakes is done now now that I was able to make one the frosting was too sweet but the cake wasn't that sweet at all which is weird and it was too hard so I was like okay <laughs> but anyways thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed I'm Kenneth Louise and hope to see you in the next one bye <laughs>